Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug. Uh, this is the first in a series of indexes on index cards, and we're going to cover basic caching with a checkpoint in SQL Server. This is really the basis of indexing, and I just find a lot of people have misunderstandings or just don't really understand what's going on behind the scenes. And if you understand this, then it goes a long way into coming up with good indexing plans. So I've just set this up on my desk with some masking tape. And here we go. On the right, we have the SQL engine or CPU in the middle cache on the left disk. So to transfer things back and forth between SQL and cache, uh, is a logical I.O. and it's in the range of nanoseconds. To do it between the physical disk and cache is a physical I.O. and that's milliseconds, so it's a thousand times roughly slower. So requests come in from the SQL engine, we check the cache, if it's in cache it returns from cache. Uh, if a paid request comes in and it's not in cache, then we have to read that from the disk, which is expensive. We place it in cache, it stays in cache and then we return the page. So now we'll go through some scenarios. There are some data pages. Those are the page IDs on my cards there. And from the SQL engine we get a request. We want to read page ID 17. We look in cache. We don't see it in cache. So we're going to have to do an expensive physical I.O. to read it from disk. We were hoping to get a logical I.O., but we didn't luck out there. The page that we needed was not in uh, the cache. So what we're going to do is make a copy of that page, page ID 17, and we're going to place it into cache. So it's important to note that we don't remove it from disk. We make a copy of it, and it's placed in cache. And basically, in the I.O. stats of SQL Server, you will see that that took one physical I.O. because it had to come from disk. So we get our next one, read page ID 27. We look in cache. We can't find it in cache. So again, we're going to have to make a copy of that page and place it into cache. So it remains on disk. We get an exact copy of it on cache. And again, we ended up incurring one physical I.O in order to read that page. So our next one, we get a request to read page ID 17. And we actually find that it's in the cache. So we don't incur an expensive request to disk. What we do incur is what we call a logical I.O. It's kind of we lucked out. If we hadn't found it in cache, we would have had to do a physical I.O. All right, now we get another read uh, request for page ID 100. And uh, we're going to go make a copy of page. It's not in cache, so we'll make a copy of it. And we're going to place it in cache. But our cache is full at this point. We only have two slots in this scenario. So what's going to happen is we're going to take some, something has to sacri be sacrificed. So we take that copy of page ID 27 and we just scrap it. We overwrite it with the copy of ID uh, page 100. So that was a physical I.O. to make that happen because we had to go to disk. Now, we're going to do an update to page ID 100. We look for it in cache. We find it in cache. So now what we need to do is make a change to that cached copy. So that little red dot I put in there, it represents a change to the page that's in cache. And what we call that now is that that page is now dirty. It doesn't match what's on disk. In order to do this update, we were able to find the data in, di in cache, so we incurred one logical I.O. We did that without a physical I.O. We made the change. All right, now we're going to read that same page, page ID 100. And again, we find it in uh, cache, and we find the most recent version of it. So it's better than the version on disk. We read it right from cache, and that we incur one logical I.O. All right, we're going to make another update to page ID 
100. And that second dot represents a second change to the, the, the disk. Again, I was able to avoid a physical I.O. in order to make that happen. And notice that what we're doing essentially is batching up changes to a, uh, a page that's in cache. And at some point, we're going to take that at a checkpoint. We're going to take anything that's dirty. There we go. That's a clean page. We don't have to worry about that. Here's a dirty page. So what we're going to need to do is take that new data and flush it to disk. Now, what some people don't quite get about this is that we don't actually remove it from cache. We keep our copy in cache and we completely overwrite 8K's worth, an entire page, on the disk. And at this point now, we're back to a clean version of the data. Everything in cache is up to date and on disk. Thanks for watching. This is Database by Doug. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and I'll be interested in your comments. Thanks.